Welcome back, friends. To get us in the spirit of Easter, we've got our good friend, Chef Terry Woo from the Block Bistro uh, downtown. Y'all know what's up when you hear the music. What's it, going on, y'all? How are you, man? Good I'm doing good. Yeah. Wonderful. Hey, listen, it's Easter, and you know what? When the Lamb of God is what we're honoring, we're going to do a little lamb, one of our best items that we sell at the Block. I've brought a lamb chop. Now, everybody's used to that long, uh, that, that that rack of lamb, but we do a lamb chop. That, mm. that thing is about two inches thick. Just salt and pepper, that's it, because it's it's a nice meat, it's a nice cut. It takes care of itself. You wanna make sure you get your your pan nice and hot. If there's a little smoke, just let your neighbors know, don't call the fire department. Yeah, don't right. call the fire you department. Got it under control. I got it under control, yeah. we're professional. So we're gonna drop that thing in there. Let's hope we get some sear. Ooh. Look at that right there. That's yeah. what we've been out here I looking like that for. That That's nice. what we want right there. We've already seen the other side. You see it popping, we don't want you to get in yeah. there. Yeah. Now, we gotta make sure that we do that for about two or three minutes on each side. So I needed a little help today. Oh, okay. So I brought in some guest chefs. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, come on in. Come on this in. is my oh, son, hello. Jonathan, who's 10. And that's my son, TJ, that is five. And they have some wonderful Easter baskets for you. We heard how much you love peeps. Oh yeah. We know, <laughs> <laughs> you know. We know how much you love peeps. So, right. so TJ, please give her her Easter basket. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Say thank you. And turn around look that way. Thank you. Nice. Jonathan, you're gonna give Mr. Jonathan, Ryan you're gonna give Mr. Ryan thank his. Thank you very much, young man. Thank you very much, so young man. Tell them a little bit about, so you, little bit about you guys, Seth, yeah. while I'm up here cooking. Yeah, all right. I, first of all, I love the outfits. We gotta talk about that. You guys look so good. So can you tell us a little bit about what you put in our Easter basket here? So we got some chocolate bunnies. We also have the eggs, but they didn't open. Um, <laughs> we, also, we also have some strawberry peas. We all know how much you love them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, well, so fun. what are you guys looking forward to about Easter? I don't know. <laughs> to is spending some time with my friends and maybe them inviting them to my church service. Yeah. There we go. Love that. Making dad proud over there. Exactly. How do you feel in these amazing outfits? Because you guys look great today. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, it just feels like a regular outfit, though. <laughs> <laughs> He's used to looking this fine. He, well, he's, he goes to Oaks Academy, so okay. shout out to Oaks Academy. Yeah. He's, he's normally in uniforms every day. Yeah. And TJ, you go to, tell him where you go to school. Pathway. Pathway Academy in Northview. You there it is. Wow. There it is. Wonderful Love job, it. guys. Yeah. So now we've got the lamb seared on both sides. Now, for the magic of television, uh -huh. we have already got one that is Ooh. already ready to Look pull out right there. <laughs> that yeah. we've got rocking and rolling. Oh, man, we've sold that with a roasted potatoes. That's one of the hottest items at the block. We yeah. do a lamb every day you can get a lamb. Now we've got a nice um, wine reduction that we have with some garlic sauce. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I, and I'm gonna pour that right over top of that, that looks great, lamb Jerry. right oh, there. Oh man. So there you go. And I'm gonna cut into that so everybody can get a bit. Now you should be getting your lamb. Most, it's served as a medium. If you want it a little more, you may want to take it inside, take it and put it, if you've got a, a, a Dutch oven, yeah. or if you've got a, a cast iron skillet, you can put it in the oven at 325 for a little bit longer, but it should be pink right there. This is in, cooked to perfection. The, oh, here. Oh, there you here, go. Right? I got gotcha. you. And then the yeah, fellas, you know what, because it's, y'all don't oh, normally wow. try, y'all don't normally try that thing right there, so. That so Ooh, that good. sauce on there is delicious. Appreciate that. There you go, TJ. Hey, yeah. talk to us really quick. We got about 30 seconds left. Talk to us about the brunch that you got going on at the Bistro. The yeah, so we out. always, every Sunday we have a Sunday brunch, but this Easter one's going to be really, really special. Okay. Unlimited mimosas. Uh, it starts at 11 o'clock. It goes until 4 o'clock. You come on in. We've got chicken, waffles, eggs mm. right there. We're going to have some nice groove. You might even see these two guys, you know, at, at, at the block this weekend. Come check us out. We appreciate that. I love it. Thanks Terry, so much. This is delicious. Thank you so well, thank much. Thank you all. You guys have to check this out. The sauce is amazing. And thank you so yeah. much for our Easter. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you. And happy <laughs> Easter. Yeah, thanks so much. Awesome. Well, check it out, the Black Bistro downtown. Hey, you guys have to stop by these speakeasies that we checked out all throughout Indianapolis. Take a look at this. It's so much fun. Happy Easter.
many great bars to check out in Indy, specifically speakeasy bars. And I think it's time we do a bar crawl. Yeah, I think so. We're here in the Bates Hendricks part of Indy uh, at East and Lincoln at the Vault. And uh, man, I just wish our friend Jolene was here. I know, Jolene knows all the cool places. She would know the code to get in here. Yeah, you know? yeah she's such a foodie. Oh, oh. Is here. Are, are, you, are you looking for the code? We, what are the odds? We are looking for the code, actually. I know the code. OK, sweet. All right, great. <laughs> she would. Yeah, let's go. Absolutely. Let's go, come on. We're here with the owner, Mike Shervik of The Vault. Mike, what is the history behind this place? So supposedly, uh, the story is that, that all of these gangsters hung out in this building. So over here you have Hilton Crouch, John Dillinger, Babyface Nelson, and Pretty Boy Floyd. Hilton actually entered in Indianapolis 500 three times, qualified once. And he was the getaway driver in the Massachusetts uh, Mass Avenue bank robbery. Okay. So with that money that he got from that bank robbery, he bought a bar in Chicago. On December 23rd, 1933, he was arrested in said bar. Well, that back bar that we have here in the bar came out of that bar. Oh, wow. It is authentic. Now, this building was built in 1898 and became a saloon. 1907 to 1911, we had what they called the blind tiger law in Indiana. So that basically, if you got caught selling liquor without a liquor license, you were going to jail. Okay. We had a liquor license here. Allegedly. 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 These are the original floors, all right, from 1898. And this is the original hatch that in 1920, when the 18th Amendment passed, and yeah. Dillinger and the gang would hang out in this neighborhood in Bates Hendricks, they would escape from it. No way. So they would grab this handle right here and escape down in the basement. Oh, wow. What? You guys have to come check out the vault check if the vault. you can get the passcode to get in. Yes, Mike. <laughs> Follow our Instagram if you want to get in. No, 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 no. This way. This way. Not the front door? No, this way. Ooh, yeah. Good, right? This must be the place. You know, so many people know and love Bluebeard for the food, but Mark's Shoemaker is going to show us a space that you may not typically see. Hey, Mark's. Hey, how's it going? Great. What yeah. are we looking at right here? Uh, so currently we're in our second story event space. Uh, it seats 18 comfortably for dinner and can be used as a reception space as well. Um, and in the lull of events being hosted up here, we've turned it into a little bit of a speakeasy. Um, on into this room is kind of our lounge, uh, which has a lot of eclectic furniture pieces. And yeah, it just really suits as a nice place to kind of sit back and relax and take in a little bit of the scenery. So what should somebody try here from the menu? Well, there are a few mainstays on our menu, like the campanelli or the roasted cauliflower that really drive people to want to return. But I think right now, like the pork belly dish and the mussels have been really well liked. And uh, we, we always have the bread pudding featured. It's truly an authentic speakeasy because you don't even know where this is. I do know that we're hanging out with Kelly right now. Kelly, what can you tell us about this space? Uh, this is original. It was originally a 1920 speakeasy. We didn't form it like some of the other speakeasies. This was here. The owners decided they wanted a speakeasy, so they opened it, they built a bar, brought down some furniture, and here we are. Kelly, for people watching, how do they get into this speakeasy? Well, they have to figure out where we are first because we're not telling anyone. <laughs> and then they have to figure out what the password is. And again, we're not telling anyone. If somebody hasn't been to Sundry Advice, what do they have to check out? Well, first of all, we want to be established as a world-class neighborhood, like, welcoming bar to everybody. So if you come in in a tuxedo on a Friday night, or if you come in on yoga pants on Tuesday, you're going to fit right in, welcome. We have amazing cocktails. We have draft cocktails that we make in-house. What's the best part about being a part of Bottle Works and having this whole atmosphere here? Honestly, the fact that it wasn't here and it's something that's like new to Indy. We're the hotel bar, so I just love that it brings a lot of people to this area. It's an awesome spot. Thanks yes. for having us. Thank you so much for being here. Well, Jill, it's been such a fun 
adventure around Indianapolis. We went to the vault. We went to Bluebeard. We went to Bootleggers, which we can't tell you where it is. And we're here at Sundry and Vice in the Bottle Works Hotel. And it works out perfect because this is where we end our tour here, staying the night at the beautiful Bottle Works Hotel. And a special thank you to Jolene who helped lead us all around town. We hope that this gave you guys some ideas for your next night out in Indy. It was so much fun. Yeah, cheers to you. Cheers to Jolene and cheers to you, Indy.